God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' name. Um, just going to give a little chop chop on <coughs> these upcoming days and weeks. Um, tomorrow I'll probably go back to the corner and preach over there. I don't go back. I haven't been, I haven't been there in a while. Um, but um, praise God, one of our brothers in Christ. Um, that in church sent me a text about going to Fort Myers, and um, I praise Jesus for that. I praise the Lord. Um, I give God all the glory and praise, right? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but hallelujah, God is good all the time, all the time, God is good. Um, but Fort Myers, I, I told the pastor already, uh, give me the okay. Um, always walk in obedience. Um, you did me patrol. Um, se pende en vez de si así de lo que no, you know, so, siempre tengo que decir la patrol. You know, que si hay una cosa que tiene que hacer o acontecer, o si hay algo que tengo que hacer, ¿verdad? O, so, esa es la razón que yo siempre digo a Pastor donde voy a estar. Y si me dice, ok, amén. So, este viene. Anyway, me respondo a mano y mi Feliciano Junior. Soy de la iglesia de Samaria, Evangelio Incorporada de. De la Florida que pastorea William Franco y Marilyn García, verificando el dulce nombre del señor de 704 Massachusetts Avenue en Lakeland, Florida, ahí en la esquina de Massachusetts y en la 98, en Boston Road, que te lleva para Boston, está al lado de Florida Avenue, la, la Massachusetts y la 98, ahí yo predico ahí en la esquina. Deje cuando me gusta parar ahí y predicar. Porque cuando yo termino otras situaciones, otros lugares, perdón, otros lugares donde yo predico. Um, so a lo mejor voy a ir para atrás para allá. Mañana voy a orar. Que sea que el Señor Jesucristo que dirige. Porque no es nada mío. Let the Holy Spirit guide. Let the Holy Spirit be the one. But this um, right here to go to Fort Myers. Voy a ir para Fort Myers. Ya lo pide permiso, me invitaron para ir para predicar allá en la, se llama Artwork, allá en el Formayos que, que ellos celebran allá, no sé qué, y andal de art. <laughs> so voy para allá, glorificando su nombre del Señor, el Rey de Rey, señor, señor, Señores, salvar alma para Cristo. Um, también mi pato va para allá, para, para Puerto Rico, mantener en oración hacer la voluntad de Dios y um, también um, uh, um, a llevar palabra de Dios, palabra de fortaleza, de esperanza y sanidad, que el Señor toma totalmente el control allá en Puerto Rico, que el Puerto va. Um, son esos um, you know, I, I'm learning a lot from, from every day we learn, you know, praise Jesus, and because, um, todos los días aprendemos, verdad, y, um, estoy aprendiendo mucho, es por la razón que, que una vez me tiro y yo viajo con el patrón, o uh, porque tiene mucho, um, um, de experiencia, verdad, que y yo vi, uh, tengo muchos videos que, que yo he visto, and it's always good to, to, to learn from people that have years of experience of doing street evangelism. And I'm a person that I love learning from people. I don't boast. I don't say I know it all. I'm not that type of person. Because I learn every day. I learn every day. And one of the things that I have learned, i um, always, when you go and preach, when you go and preach, so... Bring nice topics, good topic that's gonna draw attention. I learned that with one of the pastors for CFM. <laughs> um, 
is that we go out to bring good topics to bring your people and that's what I did in um, in Ybor City I brought a nice topic there um, it caught people's attention why because the word of God is powerful and the double-edged sword um, to correction to rebuke to teach to exhort um, well, before I, anything, I want to, before I, um, I give you details, I want to read a part of the Bible. This is Jeremiah 18, very familiar chapter that a lot of people know regarding the potter's house. 18, I want to read verse, let's put, let's read, um, let's start at verse 3. Then I went down to the, then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, I wrote, he wrote, a work on the wheel, the wheel where they form the, the the clay, they give it form, you know, the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was molded in the hand of the potter, so he made it again. Another vessel as seemed good to the potter to the make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, can I not, cannot I do with you as this potter? Says the Lord, behold, as the clay is the, the potter house, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. Praise ye. Somebody read that. The potter's house. The potter's church. Um, being that we are in a wheel. And there's times that we fall. And we mold in this hand. But every time you fall, God molds us and make us to a different, a new person. Um, and seeing that he wants to give us form, um, it's not always going to be easy because there's things that God has to take out of us, even if it's going to hurt. Um, praise Jesus. Just like the, the lampstand was made of hammered works, right? Everything points to Jesus, right? Um, but God hammers us and he forms us and we are uh, a clay in his hands. And there's times that, um, that even if we fall, we get back up. Sometimes just fall, sometimes get back up. And God never rejects a, a humble, repented heart. When you be humble, you say repent to Jesus. Um, one of the things is that if we humble ourselves and seek His face and turn from our wicked ways, he could, he will hear from heaven, and forgive our sins and hear our land. We talk about repentance. We talk about a change of mind. When we had that change of mind, our thoughts come from the incense of the heart, right? And when the Holy Spirit convicts us of sin, righteousness, and judgment, right? He transforms us. He, he, we gotta humble ourselves, give our heart over to God, because this sin in our life that God has to cut and take out. You may hurt, you may lose friends, family, uh, but you maintain that so will love your enemies. You know, even if they hate you, they despise you, you love your enemies, you tell them the truth, never reject them, cast them away. Um, praise Jesus. The Bible said that he who does not believe is condemned already, so our job is to take away from that condemnation because the Bible says that the the judgment is revealed from heaven for, to all ungodliness, right? And, and, and God rejoices in the truth. He does not work on rejoicing in iniquity, but rejoicing in the truth. And when you have the love, and that's what it is, that love rejoices in the truth. So, we want to speak truth, speak the word of God. Um, like the word says that, that his word never returns void. And always accomplishes as well, right? And never returns void. And when the word is preached, is 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 being planted. That's like what Jesus Christ talked about when the 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 soul, the man soul seed, the farmer he sowed the seed, some fell by the wayside, some fell by by the rocks, some fell by the thorns, some fell on good grounds. Each person's gonna. Receive him different ways. Now everybody gonna accept it. Some people receive it, and the enemy come and take it away real quick. Others may receive it. They fan their fortune, get to their head. They treat 
the test comes, they fall and collapse, they burn to the sun. And some people are choked by fame, choked by people, um, because they grew in the wrong spot. And the one by the sun was enough had was not rooted all the way in. But some fell on good grounds. You see when you are rooted and on, on top of that rock, the 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 winds may come, the storm will come and beat on that house and will never fall because your faith is on that rock. Your faith cannot move was on was on that rock. That's why you maintain your faith in Jesus Christ. And, and never be ashamed of the gospel for it's the power of God and salvation. We have that faith and love in Jesus Christ. You're not gonna be moved, always be ready to give an answer to the hope that is in you with meekness and love. Right? And always have the patience, which is one of the fruits of the spirit is patience. Um, I believe it was in Galatians five. But every one of the fruits of the spirit is very important. Um the first fruit of the spirit says that um is love, right? There's love. And so we want to love our enemies, love those who persecute us, love those who wars against us. Right? He shows the difference. He shows the difference. He shows the light of Christ in us. Right? Praise Jesus. He showed the love I'm trying to find it here. Praise Jesus, I'm going to go right over here. And there's Galatians 5, which is a little verse. Mm -hmm. But the fruit of the Spirit is Galatians 5, is verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, the number one. Joy, peace, peace, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness. Goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, such against such there is no law. Praise Jesus. Such there is no law. You see, when you know about the fruits of the Spirit, we have the fruits of the Spirit, people can see the fruits. And as a true Christian, you must show the fruits. That's just your work, is the fruits of the Spirit. We have the fruits of the Spirit. Um, you go out and preach the gospel, right? Earnestly contempt of the face of the hope that is in you. For many have kept, kept in unaware, turning the grace of God to the sinlessness. So we want to go preach the gospel of Jesus, right? And, and, and hold back those who are heading towards death. And, and hold back those who are stumbling um, towards the slaughter. And warn them. Praise Jesus. I believe it's Proverbs 8, 6. If I'm not mistaken. Um... So we want to have the fruits of the spirit. Um, now the Bible does says that some have compassion, but others pulling them out of the hell. Um, some pulling them out of the hell, the out of the hell. That even their garments defiled by the flesh. You know, you could correct me if I'm wrong or try to. <laughs> I'm just paraphrasing. Um, but yes, you know, you gotta let the be molded, right? And when you be mold, he molds you, right? Into a new vessel. Um, those vessels, um, the only way they could be valued is what you put in it. And you want to have a, a be planted, right? The tree, you have plant. You put a plant inside that vessel, the, and, and and it becomes valuable, right? That vessel, put a plant and decorate it. It have value in it and then when you have fruits in there especially they have fruits going out of those plants and how beautiful those plants will be you know it was solomon himself cannot compare the beauty of these flowers and that's how you are in the eyes of god you know we have the fruits of the spirit we have the fruits of the people people like that people um you gotta you gotta show those fruits of the spirit because god honor god praise jesus the holy spirit will, you, you show 
that you, you show your, 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 let me see how should I put it, gratitude, you show your, your, your faithfulness, your, your love toward Jesus Christ and see that the Holy Spirit is working through you. And those are the signs, and one of the signs is the fruit of the Spirit. You know, because when you preach the gospel, Mark 16, I believe, when you preach the gospel, right, to every creature, there must be signs that follow by the Spirit. Tell me, speak in tongues, praise Jesus, healing the sick. Uh, let me get a few, you know, for you. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. This is Mark 16, verse um, um, verse 15. 16, 15 says, and Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believe and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. So it was our job to take out, take them out of that unbelief. You know, and that's what you take about through the, the word of God, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the, which is the sword. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. So they cast out devils, they shall speak in you so they shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly things, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Now. Don't go out drinking deadly things and say, oh, look, that's going to hear me. No, it doesn't work like that. That's what the enemy has a trap for you, and he's going to try to kill you. Or trying to set any trap out there for you, and then you uh, or put a poison in your food. Anything like that, you drink it, it's not going to hurt you because you're being guided by the Holy Spirit and directed by him. And God's the one who give and take away, right? I mean, Hope said, um, he said, the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And and, and, and so then you want to have that that joy, that love of Jesus Christ. When you have that faith, so those signs follow you. When you have the Holy Spirit in you, when you accept Christ Jesus, this, when you go preach the gospel, this might set you up, you know. And, and, and to try to poison you uh, uh, some way, even when Paul, you know, not Paul, I believe is um, is Peter or that he got bit by the snake and he shook it on the fire. Praise Jesus, and um. And, uh, and, and and the serpent, the poison, the serpent, it didn't kill them. And they were. Praise Jesus, I got it right here. Pastor Paul was right. It was Peter? It was Paul? If you want to see it, it's in Acts. Um, just to let you know, it's in, in Acts 28. I'm not mistaken. Praise Jesus! I was went to the island Mata. They got bit by the serpent. He shook it in the fire, and they seen that. And they thought he was a god. It was the God in him, you know, and, and seeing that the serpent did not do nothing, I mean, he was guided by the Holy Spirit. You know, God was with him. He's in. He was in him. He was with him, and God was full of control, full control. And one, because another um, one when Peter was walking, that people was getting hit by the shadow, and we still understand that it wasn't actually the shadow, but the presence of God that was in him, uh, and. and, and that caused people to get healed as he was walking the shadow because the presence of God that go before us, right? And the Holy Spirit is in us, right? And so we lay hands on the sick and we do his will and be guided to all truth. Let the Holy Spirit be the one to guide you, right? Never do this on your own and never run by emotions. But let Jesus Christ be the head of, of the church. Let him be the head. Let him give you you know, first seek the kingdom of heaven, everything be out of it. So you gotta first seek the heaven, store your treasures in heaven, hold that was eternal. You know, and thus don't please the flesh, don't please Satan. Um, remember, this is um, um, 
just have to do with the renewing of your mind. It doesn't, um, I got it real quick. I like looking for this, um, it says here, it says here, and, um, It says here, Romans 12, 2, Do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of the mind, that by testing of you may discern what is well, the will of God, what is good and acceptable, perfect will of God. Do we be not conformed to the things of the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's how I said, repent means to change your mind. We had a um, renewing of the mind. You can see this clearly and understand the purpose and reason why God called you and see the, the purpose what he got for you. Um, I know I've taken too long. I put 21 minutes. I was supposed to only talk about what I'm going to do next and stuff like that. So be encouraged. Um, but anyway, I don't want to take too long. Um, I preach in Jesus ministry. I'm going to be going to for Myers Friday at 6 o'clock. Hopefully that will be 6 between six and seven, I should be over there for Myers. Be um to other team Jesus preachers. Um, I'm trying to get a day out to go to the university because I haven't gone in a while, and there's a lot of fishes there. Um, but um, I'll be over there, and tomorrow, hopefully, it was not raining. The weather's good. I'll probably go stand in my little corner where I was go to because I haven't go there in a while. Um. So, Friday I'll be out there in Fort Myers preaching the gospel of Jesus. And um, I also got plans. I know I, I'm really going to praying. Um, because my heart's to go to Syracuse and go to Chicago, go to Ohio, go to these different places that the Lord's putting in my heart. But um, it's in God's timing. It's not my timing. I don't guide myself by the flesh and emotions, neither by other people. Um... And, and, and Fort Myers always have been in my heart, always have been in mind to go, but I always have wait for the Lord to guide me over there. And that's why I ended up having, last time I went, I had a dream that I was going over there. And, and, and it was, and it was fulfilled. You know, that's when, um, you know, to the pastor, confirmed it to the pastor, the dream I had, and somehow I ended up confirming it. Because the pastor said the same thing that was in the dream about me going over there. So, <clears throat> Lord willing, I'll be over there in Fort Myers um, Friday at 6 p.m. Between 6 and 7 p.m. And just to rescue souls, right, from the devil's hands. Because we're living in, in, in very rough times where the enemy is doing, working 24-7. He's working real hard, especially he's putting a heaviness and burning to get you more tired so you won't be lifted up in the spirit. He's trying to bring fatigue. He's trying to bring uh, um, tiredness, sleepiness, laziness, um, heaviness, burdens that, like, like it, 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 he just comes and attacks your body. And, and so then, it's like when, when Jesus was in Gethsemane and when he went back, he sent his disciples fast asleep. He said, can you just not hold for me without one hour? You know, hold with me and, and hold with me to, to pray for at least one hour. And, and, and Jesus Christ said that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So we got to submit the flesh. We got to use our body a living sacrifice. And, and that's what's important to fast. It's important to eat healthy. It's important to exercise. It's important to do these things, which I myself need to start doing. It's um, been a while since I worked out. No, but I'm coming back into eating the right food. Um, cause it's very important, you know, put the right nutrients in your body, right? And so, Friday, I'll be out there in Fort Myers. Um, and um, I'll give you more updates. Um, what's my next um, place that I'm going to preach to? Um, cause, um, uh, this October, I'm sure there's a lot of feasts out there, Halloween. And so then I'm going to try to look for locations out there, uh, especially these churches. So there's churches out there that are celebrating this demonic, 
um, this demonic holiday, and they trying to um, color it or trying to um, comfort it, like they trying to like like decorate like 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 it's a good thing like you could put Jesus in this Halloween stuff, and it doesn't work like that, you know. And we gotta um, compel this, but we gotta um, take the gospel, warn them, warn them, you know. The Bible says to him we preach warning every man. And that's what the Bible says. And um it says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord that we persuade men, first Corinthians um chapter five or seven. He said, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord that we persuade men, him we preach warning every man, Colossians chapter one. Say him we preach warning every man, teaching every man. And so then we have to compel these people, because the Bible says if the faith if the scariest righteous members say where the ungodly where the, the ungodly sinners will appear, but the know the Lord knows the way of the righteous. This is in Psalms one. It said the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the ungodly shall perish. But isn't that God's will that any should perish, but they all may come to repentance? So if they don't come to repentance, they're going to perish. And woe to those who fall into the hands of a living God. And so we gotta pull them out of that fire, put them out from that. So God bless you in Jesus' mighty name and uh, preaching Jesus' ministry. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, please, I'm trying to make it 3:30, 3:30. Just let me stop. But subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, we'll put up the picture. Um, and I want you to subscribe to the to Team Jesus Preachers because um, it's a channel that I've been looking at for years. Right, I've been looking for that channel for years. I've been, I've been, um, um, getting teachings from it, and a lot of other channels too. Um, but Team Jesus Preachers is, is um, the first channel that I ever watched um, through YouTube that pushed me to evangelize and pushed me to start up, start up like little preaching like names and stuff like that, like a little. Um, um, like my name, like the name I put, preaching Jesus ministry. I have other names, but preaching Jesus ministry because I want to focus on Jesus. Um, so God bless you in Jesus' name, and see you soon. And um, I'm gonna broadcast this through live stream through YouTube and Facebook. Um, that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it at through Facebook and YouTube live, so you can see it on both channels. And um, it's going to be alive on both channels. So God bless you in Jesus' name. And sorry I took so long. It was only supposed to be a couple of minutes. But Jesus Christ knows why I had to bring this powder house. Um, and, and I had to bring the fruits of the Spirit. And I had to talk about the renewing of the mind. Um, not to be conformed to this, this world. The Lord knows why I, have, um, um, I had to bring those messages. So God bless you in Jesus' name. And subscribe to my channel. Okay? Peace.